So the stairs have just arrived. I didn't get a chance to film it because he was here quite early, just after eight o'clock. We got the main set of stairs in, which are the uh, first eight flights before the three kites at the top. So uh, let's go inside and have a look where we are with that. A couple of casualties to allow us to get the stairs in. The, uh, the old banisters from up either side of the stairs. Had to take them off here so we could get up. And then we had to, as you see we've already trimmed the floor out. We had to just pull these up vertically. There we are. Just see the uh, kite string gas sticking out there. All the bits are kicking around somewhere. And uh, here we are. The rest of the, the bits and bobs there. Ready to go in. So, exciting day. Say good morning to the camera. Good morning, good morning to the camera. camera. <laughs> right, staircase. There we are. Here it is. To go in that hole. We're just sorting through all the bits now to uh, ready to put these stairs in. Just looking at all the parts, sorting out what I've got in my box. A couple of nil, uh, nil caps, a couple of dowels. These are the wedges from the side of the, um, and at the back of the risers under the stringers, uh, risers and treads, sorry. And then these are my glue blocks. It's up in his squeak. All my uh, kite treads, risers there. What we're doing now is, or what Adam's doing is, we're just gonna recess all these these bolts that I put in, as you would see, just to allow us to plaster all that up and make sure we don't have a push with a rise up that end. That's what we're doing first, and then we shall drop this down in the hole. Got a bit of timber ready to prop this end. We have got a newel post to go in which will house over that triple. Um, so once I've got a height I can set that out and uh, and get that set in. So what I will say is Turn my lights down before I blind myself. Full disclosure on camera, when you don't do it all the time, it takes you a bit longer. So you can comment if you want, but I'm going to put it all on camera and you can see how slow I am putting staircases in. <laughs> but when you don't do it every single day, it is what it is, isn't it? Take your time uh, and get it in right. So let's put it on camera. <laughs> right, we're rolling. We're rolling. Where's that mark put on? That's where the mark is. is you put it that way. That's it, because that's where the it starts to turn. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. 
to get these uh, stairs. What I'm doing now, I've changed the angle of the camera because it wasn't working. What I've got to do now is I've got to work out where this last um, tread comes. Because that'll go over, that's where the riser goes into. It's that way. So I've got to work out where it comes. And then what I'll do is I'll cut out this chipboard flooring to accept that and accept the stringer. So when that goes in, this part here has got to sit on here. Or oh, sorry, on top of the triple. So I shall cut that out now to make sure we get that all the way in, um, so it sits properly. And then what I've got to do is, because this new post, if I can stand it up in here, that's. Let me get that the right way around. So from downstairs, when you look at it, that's what it'll be like. That that housing there will take that stringer you can see there on the right hand side of the stairs into there, and then these parts on the sides then house the um, the kites to get your last few treads and that part there is where the that nosing sits down there that one into there so I'll then house this out the back of that and slot it over this triple and sit that down so it sits flush so I've got a bit of chopping and carving top of the stairs so I should do that and I'll show where we are in a minute okay so I've finally finished messing about all right now to laugh um, so I've cut out for the what will be the stringer for that part there in the floor. Cut it for my nosing, which is this part, because that has got to sit flat on there like that when it goes on. I've cut out for the newel that I've now housed in. That's all been cut back like that. So that now sits flush to make sure that the riser sits tight against this triple beam. So now what we're going to do is going to glue and screw this stringer onto the end of that that's already got the pegs in. As you can see, if I just zoom in there, we've already got the pegs in there. So we'll glue and screw that in. And then we're gonna drop this slap this in in place like that. Fit the um, riser and the, the nosing into the end of the stringer, which will be like when that goes in, it'll look something like like that, if I can get it in place one-handed. Can I? Yes I can, yeah. That'll go in there like that. Oh, get the camera right. So that'll go in there like that and then the nose will slot in there and then we'll put that newel on that side and we'll all slot together hopefully and we uh, should be able to start fixing this all in then and start using it in an hour or so hopefully Okay, we're looking for square. What's that look like? 
My square's over there, can it? Drop it in. It's on, to, on the bench. <coughs> this side, just so I can. To me, to yeah, you, it's got to get to, to you. That's it. Okay. Just to make sure it sits right before I screw it. What screws have you got there, Ad, please? What screws did you get? What size you want? Um, some 70s if you got them, please. What, what girth? Ten, ten. I've only got 10s. That's some fucking big fucking 12s, haven't they? So if we just get the, 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 the null post now, you got that there for a second. Yeah, just try yeah. this. Oops. You can only drop it and you can tip the mouse anyway. It'll be out there Okay. Watch yourself, Mark. Okay. Can you just give that with that block? Obviously, don't damage the string. Yeah. That yeah. just give that a tap. We just, we just get, this get this squared. We get this squared. We need to knock it in dry if we can. Ooh. Oh, okay. Don't need to then. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. The bottom is it? The bottom There we go. That's it. So this whole thing's got to come to me. See that? Need to pull this this way. I think what it is is that that prop is at an angle and it's pulling the stairs back that way. Need to come back to me again. Okay. Yeah, just gotta be careful of this because it'll snap off. Say when? Yeah, go on then. Ready? Get to the street, uh, hang of it. <coughs> is it in that now? This, this, this is in that, sorry. Yeah, that's right, is that supported right. there? This one, no, uh, yeah. It? There we go. Okay, that's supported, isn't it? Okay, so is that prop under there, Mark? Yeah? Yeah. So that should be in there like that. Right in there. Can you push that over? Okay, that's got to pull, pump it up, Mark, a little bit. It's got to come up a little bit. Nice. Okay, it's not there. You caught him an inch off this. I think what it might be now is the bottom has got to come in. Yeah, you caught him an inch off this triple now with this. That, uh, don't matter. Don't, don't worry about that for now. It, at the bottom, you mean? Okay, so that should that should have it now. That should have the weight now. I've got hold of this, so it shouldn't move. Hey, we're looking on the old uh, level. Level wise, looks pretty really good. From left to right, we're ever so slightly high to the wall okay. on the wall side, and we're slightly high uh, your side, as if the bottom can come up where that side goes down. Okay, it may be that the bottom's got to come up a touch of there. Um, right, so just do me a favour, then, please. So this top tread, if you can reach that level, just try it on this top tread, please. Just to make sure there's no twist. Yeah. Oh, this thing, that, this thing isn't straight, is it? I can't hold this thing. Two sticks. What's that saying? You just have that bit of uh, nosing from behind you, please, Mickey. Don't worry. Got that? Yeah. So that'll have to, that can go in there. So this will have to come off. So what we'll have to do is, when we're happy, which I'm not far off now. That's 
gonna have to which is on that sign, that sign high there. Yeah. So this can't change because it's gotta it's gotta go flush with the nose, which at the minute that's perfect. Do you want to take this down? You can adjust that prop to get it level. Oh is that what this is the prop's pushing it up? Yeah, well it's high his end anyway. Uh, I still try it. Okay, go on then. Uh, here. Do you draw some rabbits on top of your head, Rick, so from up here they look like hairs. Draw some what? Some rabbits on top of your head. Are you taking the piss out the back till I've got no hair? Well, I'm going to have to turn the That's contrast down this. in a minute. What are you being so nasty for, Mick? I thought we were friends. The contrast are going to... Hang on, let me just put some on camera. Come on, put the camera at me. You have already took the mick out of me from our height. <laughs> and now you're taking the mick out of my hair. Never. You did. I've got it on footage. <laughs> No footage, it's digital. No, I thought we were friends. Yeah. Right, that's showing square. I'm wondering why. So, <laughs> so I think, do you know, we, we picked that bottom corner up. Yeah. That's showing like it's got to come round to me. So once we pick that up, it'll push this corner out, which will be right. See so that, it's just showing a little bit, okay. little bit hard, that edge. So, okay. So if we're happy where we are, which I think we are. What's that showing there? Sort to support that, but then the prop will pick it back up again in a minute. Okay. Let me take this off there. Okay. Uh, on the floor down there, I had the three um, Dells, 12 more Dells, okay. the left side of my radio. I missed that bit we had. Missed the old filming. Putting your doll in. Yeah, so what we've done there is we've just knocked these dolls through there and you have to be careful when you do these because they don't go all the way through. So you have to make sure you stop at a point where you're not gonna come through. So I don't know if I can see it on there, but uh, where are we? You can just about see right in the corner in there. To one, to one. See they just did right in the centre of shop now, that hole there. If you knock it too hard it can snap, snap this off, so you have to be careful. So all we do now we're gonna put this put this rise, the first rise, and screw it into place, and then we can hook this over that triple purling and line all our stairs up, get them all level, and then we can work our way around them, putting these in place. So that's what we're gonna do now. They're not fixed yet, we can't quite get up the steps yet. But um so all we're gonna do now we've squared this up to the hole on this side there so as a consequence we've got a better 45 mil at the top and well probably about 80 mil at the bottom um, because obviously that steel isn't 100% square to this existing wall but we are all level there null post level this is all level sitting on the floor we've had to put a, a couple of two mil shims at the bottom which we're happy with because they'll be taken up against you put your carpet and stuff on there we're happy with that um, and then all we're going to do now is we'll get some um, bolts and bolt it in there all the way down underneath the stairs now into the existing brick wall and then we'll be able to walk up it so that's what we're going to do now we didn't want to show much footage there's plenty of footage on YouTube of people putting stairs in um, if you go onto stair box where we got this from I'm presuming there's going to be something on there as well um, so yeah I wasn't about to offer any tips and, and hints and tips on how to fit them so they're a pain in the arse if I'm honest, especially kites because you have to cut and carve them to get them in. We've had to sort of cut a little bit off this to squeeze it in that way because against you've made these stringers up, it's all a bit of a twist to get it in because you can't make it in situ. Well, you could do, I suppose, if you want to risk it. Make it all up and then drop it in the hole, but mm, unless it's a straight flight, wouldn't recommend it at all because you've only got to be a couple of mil out on something out of square, you're in trouble. So you wouldn't have done it. We wouldn't have got it in. We wouldn't have got it round the corner. We'd have struggled, so... So yeah, that's what we've done. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna get this fixed across here now, and that'll be us. We can get uh, get ourselves up and down the stairs easy with our tools and what have you. So we'll crack on and do that, and I'll give you a bit of a, a look at what we've been up to and how we've done it once it's all complete. We just got some more bigger bolts on order, but we've put the ones that we've got there, two there, one there, one in there, and we'll put another three or four probably down there as well. Um, and then that's all been fixed into the, uh, the web of the steel 
this has all been fixed into there this has been fixed down to there this is housed over the top of that so that's got that one there as well and we are now even the sunshine's come out for us as well just to go home for the weekend so this is all cleaned up now nice and tidy so we just spoke to the customer and agreed where the walls are going the walls have got to go full height where these ones are this will be walking through what is going to be walk-in wardrobe there's going to be shelves on there there'll be a small return of wall just there this window is here you'll walk through this will be the doorway to the back of the ensuite shower will be there toilet there and sinks there this may tweak a little bit that way and that way and then this side what you'll have is this will be left open there'll be shelves along here or cupboards through into here and then all this side will be hanging space all across there so this whole entire bit there will be walk through wardrobe and this bit here as well bedrooms over there that's 3.6 meters that is from there to here that's quite wide i think i'm having the bed across this way i think so that looked quite nice so um not much in this episode really just the staircase so uh i hope you enjoyed it as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget that like button and notification bell ready for the next episode, which will be us putting all the walls up and potentially electrician coming and doing a bit of first fix with the plumber the week after.